Hello everybody and welcome to another video by Blissful Techno Health. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install programs and games onto a secondary hard drive. This way you won't be installing them on your primary hard drive which is your C drive taking up space on that C drive especially if it's a smaller solid state hard drive like a 256 or a 500 gig. Alright you guys, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to actually install your programs and games onto a secondary hard drive so that they're not taking up space on your primary hard drive. Typically, your primary hard drive in this scenario is going to be a smaller hard drive like a 256 or a 250 or somewhere around there to around a 500 gig and you don't want to take up all the space on that hard drive. A lot of times uh, like what I do, I install my primary games or programs that I use the most on my solid state hard drive and anything else that's big I would install that I don't use all the time, I would install on a secondary hard drive. Leaving that space available for your primary programs that you use the most often. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do this installing a program, installing a game specifically using the Epic Games installer. There are a lot of different installers. You have Steam, you have um, where you, the Blizzard installer, or you have games, or you have programs that you, you get the install file and you are running the file and installing it from something you downloaded already <clears throat> from a, a, a website or the manufacturer's website. So specifically, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do it using the Epic Games installer. Now the thing is, this is gonna, the, the idea, the concept, the process is pretty much the exact same. It used to be a little bit easier to explain when everything was on a disc, like a CD or a DVD. You put the DVD in, run the installer package, and it runs through the process. And they were all very similar looking. Now they may look a little bit different, but the concept is the exact same. So it'll be really easy to use this across any platform. So I'm gonna install this game here called Paladins, Champions of the Realm. I don't know that I'm ever even gonna play this game. I just picked one to use today. It looks kinda of cool, I might try it sometime. But we're gonna go ahead and install this game. And the Epic Games is pretty easy, because the Epic Games installer, because I'm gonna go ahead and just click I've this game here. I'm gonna click on Install, and it's instantly gonna ask me my install location, okay? I already have mine set to a location where I want the program to go. But I'm going, to quickly walk, I'm going to quickly walk you guys through how to create your own location. So we're going to go ahead and pull up my secondary hard drive that I want to install my game on. Now if you're not familiar with what I'm, you're looking at right now, pay attention because you're going to see over here on the left I have my big mofo backup, my F drive <laughs> selected. You've got your local disk C, that's your primary hard drive. Okay. I have a variety of different drives here going on. Now you want to know what drive you're going to be installing the game on. So if you're running, typically if you buy a new computer it'll come with a like a 256 or a 500 gig drive and like a 1 to 4 terabyte backup drive. So it should be pretty easy for you. It's usually going to be recognized as a D or an E. Mine's recognized as an F in this specific instance. But whatever your drive is, go ahead and click on it and you're going to see everything in the drive. And I created a game or a folder here called Programs. I would recommend doing the same, or maybe you can separate it, you know, programs and have one called Games. But the point is, you want to have a folder where you can send all of your installs to to keep them separate, so they're not cluttering up the um, root directory of your hard drive. So create a folder, just easy to do. You can just click on New Folder. I'm running Windows 7 on this machine. Um, or you can right click, new folder, run it this way. Maybe I'll do one for you guys just to make it easier for now. So we'll create a folder, we'll call it games. Okay, here's my games folder. There's nothing in it right now. So once we have our folder created, we need to browse to that location. Typically, when you start an install, you're going to see that the install location is going to look something like this. It's going to want to take it and put it on your C drive this is what you're typically going to see. So when you get to this part of the install, it's always going to ask you where to install 
the program files at. <clears throat> it has to know where it's, where it's gonna do its job and where it's gonna put all the data. So when you get to this spot, you're gonna see it says the C drive and it's almost 99.9% .9 of the time it's gonna say program files and then some subfolder in there. So what you wanna do is over in this specific instance, we click on browse. Now, if you're running a different installer, this will look very similar. It might be in a smaller window. It might be um, a window that looks more like a Win Microsoft Windows window because of the program that you downloaded. They all are gonna look a little different, but the concept is the same here. You just wanna pay attention to when it asks for the install location. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Browse, and you can see it brings up a file explorer. We can navigate to the location in which we want to install the program. In this scenario, for me, it's my F drive over here on the left. We'll go ahead and click on games for this one today. And once you're in that folder that you created, you go ahead and click on select folder. And now you can see the install destination location is going to be what we just selected. So the folders games, the path that it's going to create is gonna look like this. So it's gonna create its own folder called Paladins inside of the games folder is what it's telling us. This is what it's telling us it's going to create. The location we're sending it to, what it's gonna create in that location. Then you go ahead and just tell it to install. Now if you're using the Epic Games installer, super easy, super easy to do. It's super easy for any installer, but that's really all there is to it, you guys. And so now what's gonna happen is whenever you run this game, it's gonna run off of that drive instead of your solid state drive. The game's still gonna perform good, and your programs are still gonna perform good, but you're freeing up space on your C drive for your primary programs that you wanna consistently run on a regular basis. For me, I play a lot of the Fortnite. I'm not good at it, but I play a lot of it, and so I have it on my C drive. It's sitting on there because I play it all the time. It's one of my primary programs that I use. I print t-shirts, so I have all my t-shirt printing software installed on my C drive. <clears throat> that way, it's just, it's, it runs a little bit faster. So I hope this makes sense. I hope that you understood what I'm, what I'm telling you here and that it will look a little bit different for every install. But that's okay. It's gonna ask you that destination or that location. You just modify it to the folder you created. So if you guys have any questions, please shoot me a comment down below. I'm more than happy to answer your questions. And yeah, that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching this video, you guys. If, like I said, if you have a question, hit me up down below. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Peace out.